Hey guys, welcome to another activity here at Dustin Library. As you've probably worked out by now, we're doing all our activities online this year via the medium of our Facebook page. So I hope you've all been joining in and making lots of things and listening to our jokes and our stories. By now, you should be well on your way with your Summer Reading Challenge, reading your six books before the end of the summer. But if not, it's still not too late to start. You can go to sillysquad.org.uk and sign up, get a parent to help you, because there are a couple of tricky questions where they need to say that they give their permission. And then you can start your challenge, ticking off your books as you go. And as you finish your six books, you can read more if you want, but we're asking at least six then please send us in proof that you finished the challenge. Take a screenshot and email it to us at dustlib at firstforwellbeing.co.uk. So today we're gonna to do an activity, we're gonna do a craft activity. And you know what? We're gonna make masks. Now you might have seen masks everywhere lately. People have been asked to wear them in supermarkets and other shops and enclosed spaces. And actually wearing a mask can be a bit of fun because you can hide behind it and pretend to be somebody else. But we're not going to make that kind of mask today. We're going to make a mask of one of the characters from the Silly Squad. We're going to make Bamboozle the Panda here. Now, here is one I've made earlier. I'll just pop that on. And there we go. And I can pretend to be Bamboozle the Panda. And I'm going to show you how to make one of those today. So first off, we need to go through with what you need to make your mask. We need a trusty old paper plate. Hopefully you've got one of these at home. They're essential craft supplies, really. Get them from any shop, really. We need a bit of white card, okay? We need a picture of bamboozle, because we need to know what we're drawing. So I've got this one on a leaflet here, but you can put one on a screen, or if you've got a printer at home, print it out. And then we need some various things. We need a pencil. I need some felt tip pens. I need some scissors and I need some sticky tape. I'm going to use sticky tape today because it's quicker, but at home you can use any kind of sticky stuff, uh, PVA glue, um, a glue stick, whatever you need to do. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to take our paper plate. So I'm going to take this paper plate here. Now I've pre-drawn Bamboozle's face on this plate, um, but you'll be able to see how I draw it when I go over with my black felt tip pen to make it nice and stand out. But he's quite an easy shape to draw. So he's got a nice big round bottom to his face and a kind of a thinner round top. He looks a bit like a pear. So let's get drawing first. And I always start with the eyes. The eyes are the most important bit. So I'm gonna give him two black dots for eyes. Now, when you make your mask at home, you might wanna poke these black dots through so you can see out. And you can do that quite easy by getting a, a wadge of plasticine, play-doh, uh, blue tack, and sticking it on the other side and then just poking a pencil through. Maybe get an adult to help you with that bit. So I've got two big black dots there and then I'm gonna draw the round circles for his eyes. And then, because he's a panda, I'm gonna draw some black patches around the eyes, because pandas have black eyes. They look like they've been in fights. But they haven't, it's just the way they are. And then I'm just going to quickly colour those in. I'm going to try and colour my best today, but I might go outside the lines. And do you know what? There's no problem with going outside the lines because it means he's just a bit of a free spirit. But I do try and stay inside the lines when I can, just because it looks a little bit neater. Um, but you're the judge of your own mask. Uh, how neat it looks is completely up to you. And if you want a chaotic, free-thinking looking mask, then that is completely your decision. Um, if any of you watched my finger puppet craft, you'll have noticed that I did some singing while I was colouring in. I'm not going to sing quite yet, although I can't promise I won't sing at all. Um, I do like to sing when I'm doing stuff. Uh, it just keeps me concentrating. So there we go. I've drawn there uh, a couple of panda eyes. So now what we need to do his nose. And now Bamboozle's got a really nice nose. It's a heart shape. Um, so it's really fun to draw. So I've drawn the heart shape. And again, I'm just going to colour it in in this black felt tip pen. Uh, nice and solid black. Just so we can point that out. And then we have a little stalk coming down off the nose okay so let me show you that there there we go and then we're going to do his mouth and he's got a lovely smiley mouth 
Okay, so we'll do that all the way down there. And we'll put a few lines around it just to show that his face is moving. And there we go. Nice big smile. And I'm also going to do some dots around his nose, which is where his whiskers would be. Since all animals, they have those whiskers, don't they? Like your dogs and your cats. So there you can see, look, there's the face of Bamboos or the Panda. So now I just need to do the shape of his head. So as I said, it's kind of round at the bottom and then it, it tapers in and gets a bit narrower at the top, like a pear. And we're just gonna draw that in there. So you can see that. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a bit more Panda fur to it. And away we go here. Da -da -da and just colour it in because pandas are nice and black and white and uh, the best of both colours meeting in the middle somewhere uh, lovely black and white animals and you can see pandas in the zoo but in the UK you have to go all the way to Edinburgh to see them um, I can't promise that any of them will be like Bamboozle um, because as you can see what we'll do in a minute Bamboozle wears a hat I don't think uh, the Edinburgh zoo pandas wear a hat. Um, I mean they might do on special occasions. Uh, if they go to a wedding, maybe a panda wedding, um, they might wear a hat there. So let's just do that there. Okay, so there we have our panda all coloured in. Can you see that? So now I need to take my scissors and uh, cut out the shape of his head. So if you are a little bit little at home, let's get a grown up to help you with this. Um, but if you are okay to use scissors on your own, then just go ahead. And what we're going to do, we're going to cut these bits off the side. And I want you to keep hold of these bits that we're cutting off because we're going to use them in a moment. Okay, so done that there. And then let's do this one on this side. Okay. Almost sung there, I went into a bit of hymns, didn't I? A bit of a humming a hymn. I don't know what kind of hymn would be. So there we go, we've got a nice shape of our panda there. So with these bits that we've cut off here, we're going to use these because it's always good to, to reuse things. And what we're going to do is we're going to make them to his ears. And his ears are kind of just long ovals at one end. Um, and they're all black with a white space in the middle. So let me just colour that in there. So you can see where I've coloured in the black shade there. I'm going to cut round that now. There we go. I'm cutting out an ear. I'm cutting out an ear. Nothing here to fear when you're cutting out an ear. Go making up stupid songs again all right and then let's do another one for the other side because pandas like the rest of us they have two ears so you need two um, so let's draw that in there okay there we go and again just need to cut that out Cutting out another ear, cutting out another ear. Do, 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 do. There we go, so we've got two ears there. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a bit of sticky tape and stick my ears to my panda. So he will be able to hear all the nice things that you're saying about him when you've finished. Um, he's, he's very vain, his bamboozle. He likes to hear nice things said about him. Um, or at least that's how he, he is in my head. So there you can see there, we've got a panda and he's got some ears. So we just need to add a couple of finishing touches to our panda. And that's where the other felt tip pens come in. So first of all, I'm going to take this pink felt tip pen. And you can use a red one if you want because bamboozle has got a lovely rosy cheeks. So I'm just going to draw some pink circles just at the top of the sides of his mouth so he's got nice rosy cheeks there and he's also got a hat I don't know if you can see this picture I'm putting up there 
he's got a hat. So that's where the white card comes in. So get your white card, you just sketch the hat. And I've already pre-drawn the hat. And Bamboozle, he wears um, one, of your, one of your baseball caps. I'm sure you've all got baseball caps at home. Snapbacks, I think that's what they're called now. Um, but his has got a propeller on the top. And that, that used to be quite a thing um, back in the 1950s when your grandparents were alive. Uh, and and when they were when they were children, um, they might have had a hat with a propeller on top. Um, you can still get them now. You can buy them in in fun shops. Um, Flying Tiger. I mean, other shops are available, but I've seen them in Flying Tiger. There's one of those over at Rushton Lakes. Um, so, see, I've drawn the hat there. Okay, and he needs to be coloured. And Bamboozle's hat is blue and orange. I'm going to take my orange first and just colour in the bits of the hat and the propeller blades that are orange. And again, I'm just rushing my colour in here, but you can make it nice and within the lines and nice and even. I mean, you don't even have to use felt tips, you can use crayons, you can use paints if you've got them. You can do whatever you like your project at home. Now I'm going to take the blue and I'm going to colour in the blue bits. There we go. A lot more blue on his hat than there was orange. So there we go. I do like blue and orange. Very nice. Nice combination of colours. What's your favourite colour? Oh really? Oh, okay. Yeah, I like red and I like orange. Nice bright colours, nice sunny colours. I once had a bedroom that was painted orange. You got up in the morning, you couldn't help but feel a bit happy. And that was quite nice. That's not, I'm, I'm not telling you to tell your parents to paint your bedrooms orange. Sorry parents, if people come and ask you now uh, for an orange bedroom, nothing to do with me. I will deny all responsibility for that. Okay, so there we go. Coloured in my hat there. And now I just need to cut it out. And again, you might want to get a grown up to help you with this. It can be a bit tricky, especially around the propeller blades. But if you're confident of having a go, then just have a go. Why not, eh? But just be safe when you do it, because scissors can be very sharp. Um, we need to stay safe because the last thing we need is anybody getting hurt while they're making a funky mask. And I mean, I'm making a bamboozle mask today, but you can make any kind of mask, really. You can make a mask of any of the other Silly Squad characters. You can make a mask of any characters you like. Um, you can make a, a Miraculous Ladybug one uh, or a Paw Patrol mask. Um, he says, saying two things that are quite popular with uh, children, he believes. Um, you can also make masks of people you know, so you could make a mask of your family. So you could draw a big picture of your dad on a paper plate and make a mask of your dad and walk around the house pretending to be your dad. Um, or if you've got an annoying little sister or an annoying big brother, you could pretend to be them. Um, and who knows what you could get away with pretending to be them, uh, especially if you make your mask really lifelike. You can pretend that you are them and get them into lots of trouble. Although, again, I didn't tell you you could do that. Right. OK, so I've cut out my hat there. So what I need to do now is stick the hat on. So we're going to do that with a bit of tape. There we go. And then for one uh, final flourish, we're going to draw uh, a, a tuft of hair with our black pen because Bamboos has got a, a tuft of hair sticking out at the top so i've done that there and there we go we've made a mask of bamboozle the panda so i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you've joined in and made the mask i mean you should take your time when you're making this so pause the video as you're going along uh, in the places where you need to and we'll be back with another activity next week but until then keep reading have lots of fun and be silly